What's up, hungry people? Welcome back to a spooky edition of the Starving Chef's Kitchen. Tonight, we are going on a murderous cooking spree. From an unwilling victim, we will be making oozing meatloaf brains that are smothered in a sweet and spicy bloody barbecue sauce and filled with a molten mozzarella and ricotta cheese center. Whomever you serve it to just may die from deliciousness. Start with lean ground beef and mix in plain breadcrumbs, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and one egg. Mix it together until the ingredients are no longer recognizable. Then in a smaller bowl, beat together tomato paste, sriracha, Worcestershire sauce, steak sauce, and warm honey. Set the bloody mess aside, then line a round bowl with plastic wrap. Press the ground beef into an even layer on the walls of the bowl. Then fill the bowl with ricotta cheese, a few tablespoons of barbecue blood, and an entire ball of mozzarella cheese. Use the remaining meat mixture to top off the filling and then pinch together the sides to encapsulate the cheeses. Freeze the meat for an hour. This will help the meat hold its shape and also will make it harder for investigators to identify the body. Set the blood aside for now. When time is up, line a round pan with foil. Then flip the meat brain onto the pan and remove the plastic wrap. Gently use your hands to shape the round meat into a brainy shape. Take some of the mashed potatoes and suffocate them in a large baggie. Clip the edge of the baggie to make an impromptu piping bag. Then pipe on the brain matter in swirly motions. Chill the brain for about 15 minutes to set the potatoes in their shape. Then scoop the fresh bloody barbecue all over the brain and use a brush to get it into all of the crevices. Tent the bloody brain under the foil and bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 205 degrees Celsius, for 15 minutes. Then remove the foil and bake for another 20 to 30 minutes until the brain is cooked through and the center is beginning to ooze out the sides. The brain can be served as a meaty appetizer with crackers for friendly cannibals or served Jeffrey Dahmer style and cut into pieces. <laughs> Don't forget to saute up that like button if this recipe made you hungry, and subscribe for new recipes that I post every week. You can find this full murderous Halloween recipe with step-by-step -step instructions on thestarvingchefblog.com. I hope you all enjoyed, and have a happy Halloween.